at the broad social level, we still have a huge gap in reality. There is statistically every evidence you would possibly need to understand that we have a global epidemic of violence against women on our hands. So it's then talking about, well, what can we do to change some of that? How can we affect change, not just in your own life, but then the people that you impact and the people that you affect in your daily routine? Change is incremental. That's it. Change is incremental. And you need successive generations to do right by everybody. And I think that you're seeing the change. You know, that's what this is about. Addressing the underlying issues that cause things like violence against women. Um, it's a lot harder to address, but it can be done. People don't feel comfortable talking about it. The more we talk about it, the more the young men would understand uh, that uh, where is the line. So a man's voice is very, very important. I'd just say we have, always have to make sure that it is in the perspective of what is important to the community under which we're trying to help. I've always been inclined to think that if you bring these kinds of questions to the forefront of a person's brain, they're more inclined to do the right thing. And so a big part of it is just simply inspiring questions. So it's looking at those different pieces in a way that's not shaming or blaming men, but a way that's saying, hey, let's just talk about this and how it's affecting us as you know, men, young men and boys. On June 1st, come show your support and carry the message across Canada. Let's make a violence-free future a reality and ride for a dream.